Uh, no, there's a potential candidate ready to step up now. So, as I said, I think we'll improve the coaching staff. Is that Scott Wiseman, or have you spoken to him? You. Sorry, I was going to clarify that. Was I ha have spoken to Scott, uh, but he's not available. But that was your call around, sorry, that, that was Brad's decision to stand out. Uh, yeah, we had a discussion, yeah. You've, you're quoted as saying you volunteered to make the tough calls for the blokes you, you had to cut, and you phoned them personally. Uh, one, have you able to get on to Quaid, and, and two, Michael Hooper, what was that phone call like? And uh, was the the was the, the calf the main reason for his accident? Uh, look, we've moved on from that now. You know, in reality, the selected team were on the plane. Uh, Michael uh, wasn't selected for the tour. Obviously, there was a, there's a, still a question mark over his fitness, um, and that that's taken into consideration. How, how do you feel on the age? Do you feel as confident as you were at the start of the year? Uh, more confident, mate. More confident. What, what, what gives you uh, I think we've got the right squad now. I think we've got the right balance of energy, enthusiasm. Uh, we've got youth on our side. We're ready to go. Uh, much more confident. Obviously, the belief is high within. Can you see why people don't believe in Wallabies? Yeah, no. Fantastic, mate. Yeah, uh, none of you guys think we can do any good, so that's all right. Uh, challenges for us as a group to show you that we can and show ourselves that we can. And I think it, like, it's just a great image for Australian rugby to have a young team ready to take on the world. How much do you thrive on that? Uh, uh, I enjoy it, mate. I enjoy it when people say you can't do it. And I think the team's starting to, to get a real taste for it. And I've just seen, like, yesterday our training was the best I've seen. Best I've seen by a mile. And that's on the back of, like, four hard days in Darwin. Uh, overnight in Arnhem Land, sleeping on sand. And uh, boys are ready to go. We're ready to show the world what we can do. Any of you spoken of that? Uh, well, I've tried to, yeah. but we can't get hold of him. Why do you think he wouldn't take your call, having been? Because I think he's very upset, mate. So how did he know he wasn't in the squad? Oh, uh, look, we, well... Look, it's a fair question. If, if, how did he know he wasn't in the squad, then he was not taking well, it was an announcement. I don't know why you're going back to that. Like, and that's probably reflective of Australian rugby. We've got to move on. We're moving on to... To, to a World Cup now with a great young squad, and you're still talking about players we haven't seen. Well, we've well, tried to ring him, mate. That's all I can do. Michael Hooper's played 100 tests. It's not true that he had to ring up team management to ask, is he in the World Cup squad? Well, not to my mind. Uh, um, the Australia Race squad, squad's going to be over there as well. Um, Bernard Foley's included in that. Uh, a lot of those guys are still very much in the frame. If indeed there's an injury and they could be caught in, right? Uh, it could be, but guys, we've moved on. Like, yeah, you know, that's all been done and dusted. We've moved on. If the players were unhappy about the selection process, so be. We're moving on to a new young squad that's going to take Australian rugby forward. And, and you've got to understand that what we've had here over the last eight years hasn't been good enough. Hasn't been good enough. And we want, to, we want the opportunity for these young players to go forward. So I'm disappointed if the players upset, but all I can do is ring them. Uh, so no and if they don't take if they don't take your phone call, you can't talk to them. No, but that, I mean, that would suggest a communication breakdown, right? Why? Well, well, if, if I ring them and they won't ring back, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Tell me. Well, well why keep asking about it? Are, are, are you going to have a fully fit squad to uh, roll out against France? Uh, well, France is a practice game. Mate. Yeah. It's a practice Balancing game. Balancing act. It's a practice game. Yes. Deliberately talk. chosen, Ed, the French, were they deliberately chosen uh, as well, the warm-up game? I, I haven't been part of that. I'll just have to roll with the punches. Mate. Okay, what about Bolters out of that A squad? Is that a long shot or are they, are they just shut out completely for Australia A? Well, those players are on standby, aren't they? They're on standby. We've picked our squad of 33. Unless we have some sort of injury, we won't change that squad. You talk about the young. Will Skelton since his grandmate Captain. Yeah, no, really impressive, mate. He's he's uh, he's obviously a man to look up to in in all all terms. He's had a huge winning record in Europe, um, 
and he's brought a, a level of togetherness to the squad um, that we haven't, that I haven't seen. Um, and it's a promising start, mate. But it's just a start. You said at the start of the year, you're looking for that five to ten percent more from the guys. Is that underneath your hat? What are those tricks that you talk about? Uh, look, it all comes down to playing the game well, mate. With good energy, good enthusiasm, playing to a particular plan. Yeah, and, and we're working really hard on that. And what's the difference between knockout rugby and, and World Cup rugby to everything else that goes through a four-year Well, cycle? there's no different, mate. No difference? you just got to play each game as it comes. I can't believe the level of negativity here, boys. OK, what about right. the Matildas? Hey? Fantastic. Here's a positive Fantastic. question for you. Yeah. How do you take inspiration from a female football team? Uh, we well, take inspiration by the way that uh, lit up Australian society. Yeah. You know, done something fantastic, giving young kids the opportunity to play it. Now, I know what's wrong with Australian rugby. Like, and part of you blokes are the problem, because you're so bloody negative about everything. I was, I was a negative. So negative about everything. Okay, so we're going off to the World Cup, you think we can't win. You think the selection process is bad, because the players can play. So I'm, I apologise for that. So we'll go out there and do our best, boys. So if you haven't got anything positive to say, don't ask, please. Eddie, your, your vast experience at, at World Cups, you've, you've been to so many of them, you've had success. What can you bring to the table to, to get this young squad competitive at the Cup? Yeah, it's all about timing, mate. It's all about timing your run. You know, we don't need to, to be at our best before a crux game in the World Cup. And the first crux game is going to be against Georgia. So we need to be at a level where we can beat Georgia. Then we go on to the next game, which is against Fiji. Then we go on to Wales, and then we go on to Portugal. And then you're in the quarterfinals. And once you're in the quarterfinals, then yeah, you've got to be the best team on the day. And it's all about the timing. It's about the level of tactical influence you put into your team. And you build that up as you go along. But I know you blokes think we can't do any good. So, so don't ask any questions, boys. Just be, be the pessimist you are. Keep Australian rugby where it's been. Keep it where it's been. Complain about players that, that don't get selected. Keep doing about that, because it's fantastic, because we love it. I don't think it's a reflection of just the media. I think if you go into a World Cup campaign losing four straight games under a new coach. Yeah, no, but it's, 100%. But I think some of these questions are relevant. 100%. Right? So, we haven't been good enough. Can you see the squad come together during that, that four day trip to Darwin and Arnhem? Uh, well, I think we're prepared aggressively coming together. Yeah. What was the, what was the, 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 the one thing that really brought it? I love you going, I love this. I love this negativity, it's fantastic. I love it, love it. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. What was the real, what did you see the difference by coming together? Oh, nothing, mate. We're terrible. You know we're terrible. Just tell us we're terrible. And we'll prove you wrong. Who are you most looking forward to unleashing? Uh... Look, I, you know, I think we're going to have a, a mighty back row. I think young Hooper's progressed really nicely over the period of time. If you look at him in the first test against South Africa, you know, he was struggling to make a tackle, and by, by the end of the rugby championship, he made 20 tackles, carried over the top of the all-black forwards, and that's, that's the progression this team's going to make.